Hi guys, welcome to CM Squad Learning Center. In this chemistry lesson, I'm going to study one IB past paper questions for chemistry. It's topic 16 chemical kinetics. It's a high level student only. HL part. And this IB past paper question is from 2017 November. Uh, HL paper 2 times 0, question 2 part E. And that's very come on IB exam questions, exam type questions for a topic 16 chemical kinetics. You definitely see in uh, every year uh, past different questions, either paper one or paper two. Yeah. The question type, the question type uh, are pretty much the same or very similar. And they give you a table to show the experimental results for different set of experiments. And the following questions is to find the order for each reactants and also the ray expressions and the ray constant values, the small letter k values. So uh, look at these questions. Natural oxide reacts with chlorine, and the chemical equation is shown here. And the table shows the experimental results for uh, three different experiments with different concentration of NO and chlorine, and also the rate for uh, each experiment. And part A is to find the order of reaction with respect to each reactant, chlorine gas and uh, nitric oxide. So before doing these questions, uh, I want to make sure all high-level chemistry students should memorize this graph. This rate against concentration of the reactants. And there are three orders uh, of reaction in IP surface. You should know zero first and second order. So zero order means the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant to the power zero. So any number to the power zero is one. So that means the rate is a constant balance. So the graph for a zero order reaction is a horizontal line. That means no matter how you increase the concentration of the reactant, the rate is going to change here. It's a uh, horizontal line. For first order, rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant to the power one. So anything to the power one uh, is unchanged. So uh, let's see how the rate, how the concentration affects the rate of reaction for first order. So let's say when the cone of reactant is double, the rate is also double. Yeah, that's how they are related. One more example. When the cone of reactant is triple, the rate is also triple. So that means the graph for a first order reaction, that's zero order. The first order is a straight line, increasing straight line that passing through the origin, like this. First order. And last one for second order. The rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant to the power 2. So um, that means when the cone of reactant is double, the rate is increased by a factor of 2, two squared, right? So 2 squared equals 4, so increased by 4 times. So one more example. When the cone of reactant is triple, the rate is increased by 3 to the power 2, so 9 times. So uh, the graph for second order is a increasing curve like this. Second order. So now let's go back to uh, part A. Find the order with respect to chlorine gas. So uh, we have to choose two experiments in which the concentration of other reactant is unchanged. So that means one and two. Yeah. And we see the chlorine concentration is double from experiment experiment one to two. And the rate is also double. So when they are both double, that means it's a first order. And the reason is that because the chlorine concentration is double, the rate of reaction is also double. So yeah, that's all. And why do we need to change two experiments in which the concentration of NO is unchanged, where the cone of chlorine is changed? Because we can make sure that and we can prove that the change of the rate of reaction is all because of the change of 
concentration of chlorine gas only. Okay? Because now in uh, experiment one and two, the cone of anode is unchanged. So that means it won't affect the rate of reactions. Right? Only the chlorine gas, the concentration will affect the rate of reaction, but not other factors. So for finding the order for a nitric oxide, the same. We have to choose two experiments and in which the chlorine concentration is unchanged. So that means two and three experiments. So unchanged. And we can see that the cone of anode is double. And the rate is also increased, right? But let's calculate the, uh, how many times the rate increases. So we put 165 by 7.90 times 10 to the power of 99. Increased by four times. So that means it's a second order for a natural oxide. Second order. The reason is that when the cone of NO is double, right, the rate increased by four times. So part B. Instead of rate expression for the reactions. So rate equals small letter k as a rate constant values times the concentration of chlorine to the power one is the first order. And the cone of NO to the power two because it's the second order for a uh, natural oxide. So that's all. And last part, calculate the value of the rate constant, small letter k, at 263 Kelvin. So uh, we have the rate expression here, just uh, the equations. So we can choose either one of the experiments. We can set the value back to the formula here. So let's choose the uh, experiment three. So rate is 3.16 equals, uh, K is unknown, right? And the cone of Cl2 is 2.60 times 10 negative one. And the cone of NO to the power two, the same, the cone of NO is also 2.60 times 10 negative one square. So and then we can calculate K values. So let's calculate the right hand side. The right hand side will be 2.60 times 10 to the power negative one. And overall is power three. So we can just divide 3.61 by 2.60 times 10 to the power negative one to the power three. So it's 180, yeah. So the rate constant is 180. So that's all. <laughs>